Hi there, this is Becca with Amazing Paper Grace, and I have a Becca bit for you today. My Becca bit um, is about ribbon, and I wanted to give you a couple of tips. Now, a lot of you have asked me where I get my ribbon from, and the answer is from everywhere. Um, a lot of it I buy in a local craft store, and um, I just wanted to say to you, there are many other options, and just look for the unexpected. I am working on um, a project for later on, and I was in the fabric store yesterday, and I saw these beautiful dressy ginghams, and just had a fit over them, and decided uh, that I would get just a little bit, an eighth of a yard of each is plenty enough, that I would get some for um, ribbon, and so I wanted to show you how easy it is to get ribbon from here. Now, you are going to need a woven type of fabric. Um, you can do polyester, and you can also do um, a natural fabric like linen or cotton. And um, the edges are going to fray, so that's going to make a real charming finish on your ribbon. But this is a piece of yardage that I, that I got. And the first thing that you need to do is you need to um, tidy up the edges. So you're just going to snip however wide you want your ribbon. And then you're going to tear. And you'll tear the whole length. And when you're doing that, it straightens the edge. Now you might have a jaggedy piece on one edge, so your first edge you might need to get rid of, but then after that, everything will be straight and you'll come up with something like this. And so just kind of get all the little hairs off of it and fray it to how you want it and it's ready to use. So um, I already did that with all my different pieces and I came up with um, a pink, a purple, a green, and I even had some lace that I bought that, that I cut as well. And so I was real happy with uh, what I ended up with. Now I am a sewer also, and so I have a lot of fabric. Um, when I was at the quilting store during a recent sale, I came across these, um, they call it a honey bun or a jelly roll and it's fabric that's already cut in a strip. This is a little bit wider than one inch and right about one inch is what I like best for tying a bow. So um, I got these dirt cheap. It was kind of end of the year kind of thing, but that was just another possibility. And so um, I actually have a card that I'm working on and I need a bow for it. So I rated my I rated my stash and I came up with these from a jelly roll. Now this has got a really delicate pinked edge on it and so I thought that that would be fabulous. And then the paper that I'm using on this card is kind of a shabby chic quilty kind of look to me. So I'm just going to show you how easy it is to tie a bow using um, one of these strips. So let me get my trusty peg bow maker which is my best friend as of late all right so to tie this I'm going to bring my fabric up to the pegs I'll go around here twice twist it bringing the right side up left side down and I'm going to fold this in thirds. It's going to encase that, but it would be really pretty to have that pinking show as well. So, now I'm going to tie. So I drop my ribbon or my fabric off the right side and then come back through the hole. I'm not going to tie this too tight because I need to put a piece of the fabric uh, back through. So now I'm going to clip and since I'm going to use this on a card, 
I'm going to put this through. And I'm going to let that pinking be on the bottom. All right, now that I've got it through, I can tighten it up. All right, so here's my bow. I'm just going to separate the two loops, and it's ready for my card. Like so. So I just wanted to give you that as an idea. And thank you for stopping by for this Becca bit. And we will see you soon.